Hey guys, it's Alice Lockhart. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a swatch video of the fall collection from Atomic Makeup. So Atomic Makeup makes liquid lipsticks. They're some of my absolute favorite formula. I found out about them a while back. I bought a bunch, fell absolutely in love with them. You've probably seen me talk about them quite a few times. They were nice enough to reach out to me and uh, send me their fall collection. So we've got nine absolutely gorgeous, vampy and nude, just fall shades. So I wanted to make this video so you guys could see and compare the colors and see what they look like. Maybe you'll like them as much as I do. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna try to go in an order of lightest to darkest and keep them within the same kind of shade range so you can see the differences because there's some similar shades in here, but everything seems to have different undertones. So I'm gonna start out with the lightest shade, which is Hurtin'. Now in between swatching, I am just removing with coconut oil and then I'm gonna touch up around, just touch up my foundation around my lips. The next color that I'm gonna do is Whiskey Brown. Next we have Sable. All right, next in line is Lexington. They feel so good, like I honestly don't want to take them off. The next color we're going to do is Star. Next one I'm going to be swatching is called Lori. This one's really cool. It matches the background perfectly. Next up is Exploding Heart. All right, so we got a little bit of staining with Exploding Heart. Next up is Never Again. Last shade is New Pleasure. This was surprisingly painless. I thought my lips were gonna hurt really bad. I thought it was gonna be horrible, but my lips feel great. Final thoughts on the... <laughs> Atomic Makeup really nailed their formula. It's my absolute favorite. One uh, dip into the uh, thingy will cover both lips, both of my lips. It's thin, it's extremely pigmented, it just glides on your lips so nice. So this feels really natural to me. My lips can move around, they don't feel tight, they don't feel dry. 
the dry down time is pretty fast. Once you do that, it instantly kind of like mattifies it and just like takes that little last tiny bit of shine away. You just do a transfer test. I really pressed really hard. Did you do a wine glass test? This isn't the cleanest glass ever. Just a little lip mark, no big deal. Uh, the only one that stood out to me is being slightly different, maybe just a hair less great than the other ones, was this one here, Exploding Heart, just because it did stain. I feel like these kind of colors do that because even like red eyeshadows and stuff can, can stain a little bit. I recommend these to everybody. If you are somebody who loves liquid lipsticks and you haven't tried these, I highly suggest trying them out. If you're somebody who hates liquid lipsticks, um, again, try these out because they don't feel like liquid lipsticks at all. And if you've never tried liquid lipsticks, then these ones would be perfect for you because they are great quality, they're comfortable. I can't say enough good things about it, obviously. Hopefully you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to see more swatch videos in the future. And uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. How to take liquid lipstick off without ruining the rest of your makeup. I've got a flat concealer brush right here. I dip it into some coconut oil and I'm going to rub that around on my lips. Try to keep it in the lines. Paper towel. A lot of it comes off right there. And then just wipe. These come off really easily. These are like the easiest liquid lipsticks I've ever taken off. Wipe downward, that way you're not getting any on your foundation. Once the liquid lip is off, you need to figure out how to fix your fucking face. So I will just take a little bit of my foundation that I was using that day. This is the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. I find that it's easiest to touch up with a brush like this. Squeeze out just the tiniest little bit. If you've got too much, you can dab it on the back of your hand because you really don't need a lot. And then just buff it in. If you know you're gonna be changing your lip a lot, I highly don't suggest powdering because it's way easier to touch up your foundation if there's no powder right there. If you put powder on that shit and then like have to put more liquid on top of powdered, you're done. Like your pack up, go home, you're done for the day. And there we have it. Ready for another swatch? Yeah.